Okay, so this is a continuation of our discussion. We will talk about custom animations and timings using the Microsoft PowerPoint. In animations, we cannot only animate objects or shapes, but we can also animate text. Click the animations and select whatever movements do you like. Select the animation pane for you to be able to view the different animations. A PowerPoint provides four types of animations. The entrance, the emphasis, the exit, and the motion paths. An entrance animation determines the manner in which an object appears on a slide. For example, an object can move onto a slide. An emphasis animation does something to draw attention to an object. For example, the object can become larger. An exit animation determines the manner in which an object leaves a slide. For example, an object can move off a slide. And a motion path determines how an object moves around the slide. For example, an object can move from left to right. On adjusting the timing of the PowerPoint animation, there are three options. The first one is you can play it here in the animation pane. Where you can also select the duration of the time and put your own adjustments of the timing. Or you can right click the animations on the animation pane. Now let us try to insert an animation on this image. After learning how to put an animation on the text, now is the time on how to learn to put an animation in images. So click on the image, select animations, and then you now select motion path. Let's try to select diagonal upright. As you can see, the image will be going upright diagonally. What's good in choosing a motion path is that you can freely adjust its motion or its movement. If we wanted to apply the first animation followed right after by the second animation, just click with previews so that it will follow right after the movement of the first animation for you to be able to get what you wanted just try to explore the animation pane and try applying different animations
animation options we can also apply animation at once animations by word and animations by letters for any text that you wish to enter in your presentation as you can see the text will appear letter by letter so you can adjust the timing here so if you want it a little bit faster then narrow down its timing on the animation pane but if you want it to be a little bit slower then you can widen its adjustment on the animation pane Animation can animate an objects or text in your PowerPoint slides. So that's it. Hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching.